Once again in America, we are waking up to horrifying news involving mass shootings, this time two in 24 hours. Overnight, at least nine people killed in Dayton, Ohio, where a gunman opened fire in a part of town filled with bars and restaurants. Just hours before that, at least 20 killed in El Paso, Texas, when a young man allegedly went on a rampage at a Walmart. The shooter first opened fire outside the store, then he went inside where he stalked people in the aisles. This morning, the suspect is in custody. According to the El Paso police chief, authorities are examining what the chief has called a manifesto believed to have been written by the shooter. The chief says the document shows a possible, quote, nexus to a hate crime. Law enforcement sources also tell ABC News that the suspect said he wanted to shoot as many Mexicans as possible. The shock and sadness immediately evident across the state of Texas. The headline in the Dallas Morning News, so many bodies. And overnight, the Texas Rangers baseball team holding a moment of silence for the victims. We have team coverage of both these mass shootings this morning. We'll go live to El Paso in a moment where we will hear from some of the survivors. But we start here with the latest on the overnight shooting in Dayton. ABC's Maggie Ruley is here with more. Good morning, Eva, Maggie. good morning. The FBI is on the scene right now in Dayton. They're working with local police. And this is all happening as we're starting to hear more from witnesses who were on the scene. And they describe those early morning hours as chaos. This morning, at least nine dead, dozens injured after a shooting in Dayton, Ohio. We got shots fired, we got multiple people down, we're gonna need multiple medics. One man capturing the sound of gunfire as he sat in his car. We have, looks like nine or ten shots. Police say the shooter, wearing body armor and armed with a long gun and high capacity magazines, opened fire just after 1 a.m. as people were out at restaurants and bars in a popular area of downtown. This is a very safe part of downtown. Officers already patrolling nearby quickly responded, blocking off roads. We need first medic and dead peppers right now. We got several down. Paramedics rushing to give first aid to some victims out on the street. Most of us can't get to our cars because there were bodies scattered all over uh, across the street from our cars. So we can't, people that were shot hit innocent people. Police killing the gunman. We're working on identifying the suspect, see what the possible motivation might have been. The community is left in shock as authorities search for answers. We can't get home to our families now, and now those people aren't going home to their families either. The convention center in town has been set up as a staging area to help those families meet up with their loved ones. And we keep hearing this morning that the area where this happened, it's known for being safe. It's known as a popular tourist destination. And right now, the community is just in disbelief. Of course. Mm. Unbelievable.